I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I wanna show you how I would set up the harmonizers in the pitch block to give me some simple diatonic third harmonies while I'm playing some lead guitar. Before we even hear anything, I'm gonna give you a very quick example of what the pitch block dual diatonic harmonizer can sound like in a little Iron Maiden inspired track. I'll let you hear it and then I'll show you how we set it up. Let's break down that sound. I'm using the Brit 800 mod amp model. I have a preamp boost in here. I'm using the T808 mod in there. That is then running into a stereo cab block. I'm using two instances of my free LT TV Mix 7 cab IR. I wanna do some fun stereo things with the pitch block in just a second. So it's important that that is stereo. I've got some chorus and delay in the preset as well, but I've got them turned off for now. So let's just hear the raw amp and cab tone. <laughs> Let's place a pitch block in this preset. I personally like to place it between the amp and the cab block in here. I find it sounds a little bit artificial if you place it after the cab block. And I find that due to the nature of adding an extra voice and placing it before the amp block, you get some intermodulation distortion that you wouldn't get if you had two separate tracks on there. So this seems like the way that best mimics how two real guitars would work. So let's add a pitch block in here between the amp and the cab. Let's select the dual diatonic mode over here. And I just wanna generate a single harmony voice. I'm gonna start by turning the level on voice to all the way down. Alrighty, let's do a third up on here. So I'm gonna set the harmony to three and then we're gonna select our key. I'm gonna play in E minor and our scale. So I need to select Aeolian minor. There are so many options in here from all your modes to kind of more exotic things like the whole tone scale, major pentatonics and the harmonic minor scale. But let's just go with Aeolian minor. One last tweak in here that I would highly recommend is to go to the master and mod section and set the detector source over here, not to block input, but to input one, assuming you're using input one for your guitar signal. So what's happening here is the pitch block is listening to your raw DI guitar, detecting the pitch that way with no processing on it and then generating the harmony. It's generating the harmony after our distorted guitar on there. So let's just have a listen to what this sounds like. Then I wanna show you a few more little tweaks on there to get the tone that I did in the video. <laughs> Sounds really, really sweet on there and the tracking's so fast and so accurate. You can of course go into the master and mod section and play around with the tracking. In here, I like using the fast tracking and just leaving it at the stock setting. It works totally fine. If you want slightly faster tracking in there, there's this trade-off between tracking and accuracy. Five's a pretty good value, but depending on your guitar and the sounds you're going for, you may need to tweak that. One. Other thing that I do like adding in here is going to the harmony section, actually just adding a very short delay, something less than 10 milliseconds. Let's go for seven milliseconds. I'll let you hear the difference there. <laughs> Again, that slight offset in there kind of mimics the differences in timing that two real guitar players would have. One thing that I do recommend in here is playing with a high cut control if you're using a harmony up. So let's try half that high cut. We'll take it down to 4K. I think it just sounds a little more natural in a mix like this. <laughs> Now, 
for the track that you heard at the start, what I actually did was I played the higher harmony and I set the pitch block to do the lower harmony in there rather than the other way around where you might play the lower harmony and then harmonize it you know, with another guitar player or another guitar part in a mix. Again, this is one of those kind of preference things. I think I just like the way this sounds with the higher voice being my actual guitar sound on there. And, you know, the human ear has a lot of idiosyncrasies, one of them being that we tend to really prioritize higher pitches. So let's have a listen to that same harmony that I played earlier. I'm gonna play the higher part for you. <laughs> We can go a lot further with this and we can use multiple voices in here. In fact, we could use up to four voices if we use the quad diatonic block over here. So let's go to quad diatonic. And then what I like to do is let's take that voice one and let's duplicate it over here. Now, one thing you could do with four voices is use different intervals and generate chords, add delays to them, get some amazing sounds. I've already done a Tuesday tone tip on that which you can find on this channel. So let's do that and let's just add a very slight detune offset on each of these voices over here. I'll go minus five and plus five on either side. I'm gonna turn the level up. I'm gonna pan them hard left and hard right, but I've got two other voices in here. And what I'm gonna do is not use those for a harmony at the moment. I'm just gonna leave them generating the same note that I'm playing, but I'll use them as detuners in here. So let's add say plus and minus nine cents on there pan them hard left and hard right, and we get a super fat harmony sound. That sounds pretty awesome, right? We'll hear that in a track in a second. I mean, a few other things you could do is you could add a low harmony, and a high harmony on here if you wanted to. Remember actually that these aren't in semitones, they're in musical intervals. So uh, an octave would be an eighth over here. Let's have a listen to that. <laughs> starts to sound less and less like a guitar in this setting, which is not a bad thing if you're going for those kind of sounds there. You could add, say, a fifth in there. You could add a ninth if you wanted to, and then play around with the relative levels. Like we could do that and actually kind of make the upper and lower harmonies or octaves, I should say, a little bit quieter. <laughs> Turning the mix down a little bit and then adding some more offset short delays. Now let's go maybe maximum 20 milliseconds on here. You just kind of type in some values that aren't all the same and it gives us this. Hopefully that makes it nice and easy to set up a harmonizer in your FM3, FM9, or Axe FX3 if you've never done it before. And if you're already familiar with it, hopefully there are some useful tips to make it even better in your unit. Let me know how you're using the pitch block harmonizer in the comment section below if you wanna grab my IR. It will be linked in the video description as well. Have a great day, and I will see you all next week for another Tuesday Tone Tip.